uh, thus far we have assumed that content delivery networks are pretty uh, resource uh, uh, provisioned and they are uh, autonomous but this may not always be true so do they have an interplay or interdependence with each other uh, for that let's look at how the content delivery networks uh, reach out to each other this area is known as cdn internetworking so we'll start off with a, uh, the need for such internetworking or peering we'll look at an interesting scenario and when we'll look at the architecture it is obvious that uh, people subscribe to cloud services and services over the internet uh, for high quality content now the requirement for providing high quality with global outreach is indeed challenging now this challenge is very very serious for new cdn providers and it's not even viable for existing ones so that is why we've seen over the years that somehow collaboration acquisition mergers take place uh, which results into very few players which are the movers and shakers in uh, cdn for instance we know of uh, uh, akamai we know of uh, amazon and we know of uh, netflix so it means we don't know of hundreds and thousands of such cdn providers why because some kind of um, mergers and consolidations do take place why because some kind of coordination is required uh, for these uh, cdns to remain commercially viable uh, and as as you well know that sometimes the demand is not real it appears as a, as a, as a flash uh, crowd or as a sudden increase in demand which is not representative of the customer base in that particular cdn jurisdiction so for that the uh, cdns have to get into some kind of uh, peering arrangement so what is that peering arrangement is basically a commitment by the cdns to cooperate with each other now this helps them to facilitate the sharing of infrastructure for cooperation that is sharing the resources and to make sure that the services are delivered efficiently by all the participating peers now some questions would arise for instance uh, if a cdn has to pair uh, uh, with others or internet work with others then whom to pair with um, when to pair and on uh, what conditions to pair now this is actually uh, when to pair is basically the circumstances when a certain cdn finds itself unable to provide the same quality of service to the customers how to pair is interaction between uh, uh, different entities the sla the service level agreement and whom to pair with basically is a multi criteria decision making process that is uh, uh, the exact incumbent requirements Uh, which are being faced by a cdn cdn i then it must look for the cdn uh, which is within its proximity under certain constraints that best best fulfills its uh, requirements now let's look at uh, an interesting scenario in fact uh, two scenarios which um, uh, motivate us to look for internet working now everyone uh, in pakistan who's fond of watching cricket uh, must have uh, referred to the espn crick info website now the crick info origin server basically is actually being requested by a client to provide the live update say between pakistan and sri lanka now this origin server sends the request to the uh, akamai uh, server now the akamai server has the content so it looks for the uh, appropriate content chooses the web server in the premises of a certain cluster and then uh, uh, let's say it finds that uh, the part of the requests that are being made by the users can be accommodated from the edge servers uh, let's say a server is placed in uh, in kandy sri lanka where the match is being played so edge server in that particular area Uh, would be used would be uh, uh, redirected to to provide the content to the users now if there is an additional requirement in that case akamai 
as the content delivery network will have to uh, replicate servers uh, let's say somewhere let's say in trinidad and tobago uh, like saint saint lucia uh, there a new server has to be deployed it's known as the point of presence a new point of presence will have to be deployed it means new investment has to be made by akamai as a singular content delivery uh, uh, content delivery uh, network now the users are now being provisioned from the edge servers uh, from the newly placed uh, servers this means more cost but if we look at peering arrangement between cdn providers now the akamai content delivery network has relationship or an mou or a service level agreement with the mirror image let's say another company uh, which has a point of presence in uh, in candy the example here is um, of uh, trinidad and tobago um, so it means if they already have a server there so akamai doesn't have to invest to have another server in trinidad and tobago or uh, candy for that matter in that case the users are now being served uh, the content from the mirror image edge server because that particular edge server has the content and is the best suited uh, uh, delivery um, uh, site so the users are being provisioned uh, from there in this case you can see if akamai wants to expand globally it has to join hands with another content delivery network provider now let's look at some terms then we are going to look at the architecture that is used to realize such um, internet working or peering we have the web server that is the original content uh, provider which has the original um, object then we have the mediator mediator is the one that is uh, um, a software uh, artifact that has the uh, rules for negotiation and management between multiple uh, cdns then we have the registry registry is basically the record of uh, uh, the uh, resources and policies um, which are being used by different cdns which want to reach out to each other and have a peering relationship uh, then we have peering agent that is uh, basically a software module that helps to discover the resources which are available in the cdn community uh, then we have policies or the rules like web server specific rules mediator specific rules and uh, the peering rules now these are the typical uh, terminologies which one would come across if one were to look into how cdns internet work with each other the consequent architecture of an entire system in which the peers can support each other and can take benefit out of each other is going to be uh, like this here we have uh, the uh, content requester and the content uh, provider the content pro uh, requester is is let's say uh, a certain client individual client and the uh, content provider is going to be the web server but which 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 web server and which particular cdn to be used it all depends upon uh, the availability of content the proximity the relationship between these cdns and what policies are implemented on these cdns so let's look at uh, uh, a particular cdn let's say cdn 1 so we have web server then we have policies for the web server we have the registry we have the mediator we have the policy registry and then we have the peering agent so it means it is the peering agent that works on behalf of the cdn to talk to another PD, uh, uh, peering agent who is talk, who is representing another cdn on its behalf so it means these peering agents are going to look for the particular cdn that best suits the requirements for the requesting cdn 